I just hate it sometimes when you're working on electronics or you're working on your car or something and you're unscrewing stuff and you put those screws in a certain spot and then when you're done and then you want to reassemble everything, one of the screws is missing. Yeah, that's my biggest problem when I'm working with that kind of stuff. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a cool magnet bowl that will hold all your screws in place. But for now, let's go ahead and cue the intro. Bam! So here are some of the tools you're going to need. You're going to need super glue, you're going to need a magnet. Now, I don't know what kind of magnet you have, but my magnet, the length is four and a half centimeters and the width or like the width is one centimeter and you're gonna need a metal bowl now this metal bowl needs to be um, able to stick to magnets that's pretty much it now the base of my metal bowl is 4.5 centimeters I mean my bad it is 4.5 yeah 4.5 centimeters I don't know I'm going crazy and as you can see this fits perfectly the magnet's a little bit bigger, but not too big a deal. And <clears throat> you're also going to need some wood. Now, I don't know what kind of size your guys' wood is. I mean, it depends on what you guys use, your bowl size, your metal size. I'm just showing you guys a basic idea. Now, I'm going to need wood. Now, the wood is to, um, to make a flat surface on top because when I attach this part, it's going to be wobbly. It's going to be wobbly. And we don't want that. So I'm just going to cut a circle. And in that circle, I'm going to cut a little line. And then this is going to fit in the line. I've already pre-cut it. So it's going to be basically like this. So there's going to be the circle. And then I'm going to cut a drill. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to cut a hole right here. And then I'm going to place the magnet in. Super glue it. And then get some. And then super glue the wood on. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you're going to want to do is cut your bowl to what size you want. And for me, um, I'm going to cut it probably enough to where the magnets won't fall off. Just like a little tiny bowl. And I forgot one more tool. You're going to need mag um, metal cutters. Well, at least I'm going to need metal cutters. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this up. As you can see, there's a bunch of metal here that I've cut and I made into this. Um, let's go ahead move that stuff but I gotta put my gloves on to make sure I don't poke myself okay. that to the side. all right well this is what it came out to be it's not the best circular thing but it'll work for what I need it for and just for safety reasons I'm just gonna get some electrical tape or duct tape and tape these edges just to make sure that it doesn't stab me or I don't get cut by these or anything from that because I can already see that there's little pieces of metal sticking out from me shredding it so I'm gonna go ahead and get some um, electrical tape and I'm gonna go ahead and tape the edges just for safety I mean you don't have to do it if you don't want to but it would be a good idea to do it Uh, that looks good. Now we're gonna go ahead and make the base frame of it. And what I'm basically just gonna do is I already made the hole. I'm just gonna put a, drill a hole through it, and in that hole I'm gonna drill um, a hole through that, and then it's gonna perfectly fit in snug and fit. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And then after that, we'll go ahead and assemble everything and make it look like the shit. All right. Okay, yeah, I know I said before that I was going to create a circle and I was going to drill a hole in the center of it, but uh, when I was doing it, I found out it was going to take way more time to do, so instead I just cut it in half 
and I'm just going to put the metal piece inside and just glue it in like that. That's basically the easiest and fastest way for me to do it because um, I don't have my drill bit with me so I can't technically drill a hole and then make it inside so I had to cut the two pieces in half. Now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to take it <clears throat> we're going to put it in the middle just like that and we're going to put the two pieces on the edge. Yeah, it's a little big, but the end result is still going to be the same. It's still going to be it's not going to move at all. It's still going to be a solid piece. It's not wobbly at all, which is what we are aiming for. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in the center. And then we're going to put these two on the end, and we're going to super glue it. So, I'm going to take a very small amount, because not too much of an amount, because it's already magnetic, and it can already stick to it. And the more super glue you put, the more, um, I mean, the less strength it has to absorb the screws on this metal plate. So I'm just going to take, like, probably take three drops. One right there. Perfect. Now it's not going anywhere. Now we're, we will come back after all this is dry and see what the end result looks like. So, yeah. Alright, so it's done drying. And, yeah, that's pretty much the end result. It's dirty. It's not going anywhere. It doesn't wobble at all. It only wobbles if you tilt it to the side, but I want you to do that. Now, to clean up the bottom part and make it a little more, like... Smooth and nice. I'm just gonna put a layer of duct tape all over this whole part right here to make it a bit nicer and just make it look overall the whole project look way better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take some duct tape. All right, there we go, and now we're done. All right, now it's time to test this bad boy out. So let's go ahead and take some screws, put them in there, all sizes. Take some small ones, put them in there. And now let's see how durable it is. Oh, that's hella good. Bam. Now this is my first time making it, so I'm gonna be using this hella now. I'm gonna be using this for all my projects. It's probably the best and the smartest invention I've made. And you can actually buy these at the store, but they're like 40 bucks, and I just made one for like what? 10 bucks? Five? No, I made this for like five bucks. And I lied, they're not probably 40 bucks online, they're probably like 15, 20 bucks. But still, I saved money right there. Perfectly good, durable, and you can actually amp up the mag magnet. You can have a bigger magnet, higher magnet. Yeah, so there you go. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And if you want me to show you guys how to or hacks, go ahead and leave them in the description and I'll get to them. So thanks for watching. Peace. Until next time. Champagne when we die.